welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So tonight I am going to see Dream Girls at the Palace Theatre in Manchester and I am in the stalls today. I'm on row B, seat 35 so I'm quite close today uh, because there was an offer on single seat ticket they were selling them for just £18 so I managed to get a great seat for just £18 so I'm really lucky so I'm really looking forward to it. Never seen Dream Girls before so it'll be, it should be fun. So like I usually do, I'll show you any merch that they have, I'll show you the view from my seat, and then I'll review the show when I get home. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little bit of vlog. Every day I see miserable people Doing things they hate just to fit in I know it's easier to on peacefully but have you ever thought about you don't know why i keep on doing what i'm told to do when the rules are made up by someone we never knew baby wipe your tears and hear me out we don't need someone to feel so it's now seven o'clock oh we just got off the tram so i'm not gonna have very long to look now that the merch or anything when we get in I'm have to go straight to my seat and do the merch in interval. Yeah, just walking up now. There's a map on, so the tram was packed. It was so busy. So yeah, I'll go back to the Yeah, I'm just walking up to the first now. There we are. So I've just arrived at the first now. Oh, it's just here. Uh, it's about five past now, so I've got plenty of time. I'm just going to take a picture and then we'll head in. Okay, so I'm just going to get in the queue. Now I'm just gonna find my seat. So I'm on row B, seat 35. So I'm just gonna find that now. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm in my seat now. This is my view. So it's a really good view. This is a love room. I think it's due to start in about five minutes. So I'll get back to you now after the interval. Hi, so it's now the interval and it is the theatre it was nightmare getting back because there was a football match on so the trams were absolutely rammed and yeah I did not enjoy the tram journey back but I'm home now and I absolutely loved the show the show was amazing I was not expecting to enjoy it as much as I did um I think I started watching the film once and then got bored and then turned it off but this was amazing I was not like I said I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I was and the cast in this are excellent they're absolutely amazing so obviously the show was on at the Palace Theatre I was sat in the stalls I was sat on row B seat 35 and I actually only paid £18 for that ticket it was a single seat ticket uh, so they were selling it cheaper the single seat tickets um, I'm not sure if it was just that show because it's actually it was press night and they all often do that for, they'll often reduce the single seat tickets on press night because they like the auditorium to be full on press night so I think I just got lucky and managed to get a really cheap ticket like on really good really good row because usually those seats are £50 so yeah I definitely got a bargain there and um, plus it was supposed to be a single seat but actually there was two seats next to me that were empty so two people that were supposed to sat there didn't turn up so I had loads of room it was great it was a great seat really enjoyed it plenty of leg room really comfortable and the view from there was excellent so yeah I did really well paying 80 pounds for that ticket like I said if you go to the theatre a lot on your own always look out closer to the time of when you want to go like a week before sometimes a couple of days before and occasionally some shows will reduce the single seat tickets down to either the lowest price or the second lowest price um so you can get some really good discounted tickets if you do that not all shows do it it tends to be the bigger ones um but yeah definitely something to look out for if you go to the theatre on your own a lot 
So this show is of two hours and 40 minutes long, which also includes an interval. I think the interval was about 20 minutes. So there was quite a lot of merch for the show. I think they had free t-shirts, they had a hoodie, they had a mug, they had a magnet, they had a pen, a pin badge, a face mask, they had a souvenir brochure, and they had a tote bag as well. So I just picked up, as usual, I just picked up the magnet. This was five pounds. And I also picked up the Pro House Program Ooh, there, which was also five pounds. So um, came to ten pounds altogether. But yeah, there was quite a lot of merch for this show. So if you don't know what Dream Girls is about, it is set in the 1960s and it follows a girl group which comprises of Effie White, Dina Jones and Laurel Robinson and the story basically follows them and shows their rise to fame and yeah that's the basic story. Obviously there is a film version out of this which stars, I think it stars Beyonce. If you've seen the film version you'll know the story. There are some very well known songs in this musical I think due part to the movie. Um, main ones that people tend to know are and i'm telling you i'm going and listen those are the two big ones that most people know about so the cast in this show i think i mentioned at the beginning were absolutely incredible it's been so well cast the singing in this show was amazing oh nicole rachel dennis who plays effie um her version of and i'm telling you i'm not going was absolutely outstanding it was amazing she got a standing ovation i've never seen a standing ovation before the end of a show before this was the song that was just before uh the interval and she got a standing ovation everyone was stood up clapping she was amazing um absolutely incredible she's got an incredibly strong voice I thought she was outstanding. So anyway, I think I will now just give you a little quick look at the program. Okay, so this is the program. So as usual, you have your first page, which tells you some of the shows that are coming up at the theater. There's a little bit about, um, it's a little bit with some information about the Palace Theater. Then you have an article, which is how Motown gave Voice to the 21st century black femininity. That's a little article there to read. And then you've got your information here. So the first page here is your musical numbers. So like I said, there is a few well-known numbers in this. So in your first act, you've got I'm I'm looking for something baby, going downtown. Talking the long way home, move, fake your way to the top, Cadillac car, step into the bad side, party party, I want you baby, family, dream girl, that's a good song, press conference, heavy, it's all over, and obviously the big number, and I'm telling you I'm not going. And act two, you've got love, love you baby, when I first saw you. I am changing, ain't no party, I meant you no harm, the rap, I miss you old friend, one night only, which is another big number, I'm somebody, listen, which is the other big number, hard to say goodbye and dream girls reprise. So that are all the musical numbers. And then you have your cast and their biographies. So like I said, we've got Nicole Raquel Dennis playing Effie White. And like I said, she's absolutely amazing. I think she came to fame on The Voice. I think that's how she came to fame. Um, a while back, I think she was on that. Um, but she's been in a lot of West End shows. She played Alana Beck in Dear Evan Hansen. Um, she's been in Waitress. She's been in The Book of Mormon. Um, she's played Effie in, on The West End as well. So yeah, she's done a lot of stuff. Then we had Natalie Cassinger as Dina Jones. Again, she gave an excellent performance as well. And then we had um, Paige Paddy as Laurel Robinson. I thought she was really good in the part of Laurel. She was funny and yeah, I really enjoyed it. I thought her voice was great as well. Then you have Charlene Hector. She's an alternate Effie White, so didn't get to see her. 
Matt Mills played Curtis Taylor. So usually playing Jimmy Earl is Brendan Lee Sears, um, but he wasn't playing the role. Uh, at this performance we actually had Sham Omer James playing him. And he usually plays C.C. White, but yeah, he was playing Jimmy Earl at this show. And he was amazing as Jimmy, absolutely amazing. I would have thought that was his main part because he was just so good, so full of energy, so funny. Yeah, I thought he was absolutely great as um, Jimmy, really, really good. So we, instead of... Um, Shem, Shem playing C.C. White, we had we had Samuel Nichols playing C.C. White, uh, he's usually an ensemble member, but yeah, he was playing C.C. White. Joe Servi as Marty, Brianna Ogubawa as Michelle Morris, and ensemble and dance captain, and then the rest are your swings and your ensemble cast members. So here's your cast list. Your ensemble, your swings, your understudies. You've got your creative team and your production team. Your orchestra. You have a couple of Rehearsal pictures in here. And then, oh, and then that is it, and you've just got your adverts. Yeah, that is the program. So yeah, that was the cast for the show. Like I said, the entire cast were just perfect. Absolutely amazing. Everyone's voices were amazing. Really loved the cast in this show. Also really loved the costumes for this show. I loved like these like 60 style costumes and I thought they were really good. And I also liked the sets as well, the way they did the sets. Like when they were on stage and like when it made it look like they were backstage. Um, I thought the sets were good and yeah just thoroughly enjoyed the show definitely recommend it if you can get to the palace so the shows run at the palace theatre runs from the 13th of September till the 24th of September so it's still got another week to go at the palace so you've definitely got time to see it uh, if you're hoping to catch it while it's in Manchester it is on a UK tour currently so it will be traveling to different venues around the country so what i will do i will link the dream of girls official website down below and on there it'll list all the places that it will be traveling to i'll also list um i'll also link down below a link to the atg website where you can purchase tickets for manchester shows so yeah i definitely recommend dream girls it was a great show um I think you'll enjoy it and yeah I hope you have enjoyed this little theatre vlog if you do enjoy theatre vlogs please do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as my next theatre vlog goes up I have got a few shows coming up which I will be doing theatre vlogs of so if you enjoy watching the vlogs please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when those vlogs go up so yeah like I said I hope you've enjoyed this little video if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon.